Hello friends, we're starting here with another episode of our Swiss Family Rismanson RimWorld playthrough. The winter continues, our food's running out, kind of. We got a lot of insect meat, and so we're thinking we might want to start making insect meat meals to keep our people going. Because uh, we do have, I think, about a week still until the end of the winter season. We have more insects we can eat if we need to. Desperate times, but maybe we'll survive anyway. Alright, Will is pretty well knocked out. Will's not in good shape at all. Got flu, got unhappy, and now is catatonic. Still complaining about his meals despite being in a coma. I don't know how that works. I don't know how that works at all. But yeah, the big issue, of course, is that our mom and dad have gotten a divorce. Will and Liz no longer love each other, so heartbreak, heartbreak indeed. Alright, we're thinking that uh, today's episode is like very much to, well, get through the winter, of course. I want to get wood for putting in new traps again. Uh, maybe for the time being, we move some of the traps from this uh, anti-sapping section over. And so we'll go ahead and do that. These steel uh, traps would be great for right now. So we'll move at least three of them to spots that will definitely be hit by enemy, enemy, any enemy who's cutting through. And I'll move one that there, and we'll steal one from this spot. Reinstall it right there, and one more of them right here. Now the only issue that I do with these is I'm pretty sure some animals, like so, some boom rats might cut through there and and set them off. That would be quite, quite annoying if we have a boom rat uh, hit them instead of having a, a, an actual raider doing so. Uh, now we don't really need this wall here, um, but instead we might want to go ahead and thicken out the, the uh, inner wall. So get rid of the outer wall and thicken the inner wall instead, uh, bit by bit. We've got a wide variety of stones, mostly granite though, so we use granite here to uh, begin filling in. Ah, this uh, floor here is actually uh, mud instead, so once again it's time to build some additional structure, additional bridging. It also requires, unfortunately, even more wood. So I guess for right now we'll just build this section, uh, like so, and fill it in some more and more, and be just fine. Okay, we got some traps there now, feeling better than before. Uh, things seem pretty good there. Um, we do not have our high-tech research bench made yet because we're lacking in steel for doing so, I believe. Now, this section is full of steel, but it's also fully infestable, except for that one spot I just noticed. Uh, right here, we can actually dig out, no troubles. And if we go down this way, where else does steel remain? Or we're at a point now where all the steel there is will infest. Uh, I mean, there are infestable areas regardless of the map. I think we're going to fight insects long term, so we just need to keep that in mind that we're going to be... Uh, Dealing with bugs uh, for probably the rest of the playthrough, and that's okay. I mean, we dealt with last group pretty effectively. That was pretty nice. Uh, looking over here, um, we found the first bit of infestation in this wall right here. That's what we could keep digging out here and just accept that we're going to have to occasionally fight bugs inside the kill box. Uh, as far as places to have bugs, that's probably one of the better ones. My only concern would be if I dig in more and more, uh, will it be possible for us to have an infect insect infestation spawn across this whole section, including inside the wall. Because that would be truly, truly dreadful. Uh, so we'll see. Uh, for now, we'll continue digging out here a little bit more. Want to make sure the enemies don't have too many spots where they can hide while fighting against us. We'll mine out uh, this bit also, and that bit. The infesting spot is over there. So if we dig to there, we'll have a little bit more uh, space available, we'll see what happens. I thought I'd made this area... Ah, I thought I made that area um, remove roof, but the roof removed itself instead by collapsing in. Uh, so let's check our zone, and yeah, it is remove our roof, actually. Made both remove roof and build roof simultaneously, though. So if we remove all of this, instead use the remove roof tool, uh, that'll make this just gets removed, I suspect. Ah, right, there we go. Much better. Though, of course, nothing can remove thick roofs. We're stuck with these dark roofs regardless, so we'll see how that goes eventually. All right, I'm glad to see people are in pretty good shape here. Uh, as I mentioned last episode, I'd like very much to have a larger living area for my my Swiss family. I'd like very much to have an area where they can uh, have a big house for themselves with lots and lots of rooms and so on, uh, instead of this somewhat awkward split between the north and the south. Uh, to do that, though, we're going to have to either expand in some direction or another. I'm not sure what direction to go. Possibly uh, out here to grab the fields, and then maybe down this way, possibly. Uh, or we could dig into the mountain. And again, just accept we're going to have to uh, deal with infestations in there, but uh, it'd be a nice little mountain base for our people, possibly. Uh, also, I didn't realize that this uh, floor we made, so we could fill this in as well. That's great. And yeah, the base is more defended than ever before. Now, Jack is not working. Uh, Jack's our researcher, I believe. He's not working because there is no... Uh, research bench anymore, so we gotta get one of those again. 
Uh, Jack, can you do other things too, or are you just you just researching? Cleaning, hauling, researching. Those are the Jackian ways to go. Uh, someone else help with mining, though. Can Jack help with mining a little bit? Uh, you are a one in mining. Okay, get to it, boss. Yeah, we'll get the mining done. We just marked out here. And as we get more steel from here, we'll hopefully be able to uh, get the research bench made fairly quickly. It takes 10 components also, and we have uh, 33 steel. That's absolutely plenty. 33 uh, steel components. Very good. And I want to start making assault rifles, uh, of course. And uh, unfortunately, to do that, it's going to require a bunch of components. So might want to go buy some components from somewhere. Uh, want to dig out some more components also, this direction. Um, but it's the part of the game where we're going to need to industrialize, and to do that, to take a bunch of resources that we may or may not have in some significant uh, stockpiles currently. But that's all right. That's all right. Uh, lots of components steel. Is this steel? It's silver, actually. Uh, we'll leave that. We're, we're investing our silver in the uh, the meteorite bank. I'm sure it'll pay back huge. Uh, lots of steel up there, though. Cool, cool. Yeah, we're not in any way hurting for steel or even components yet. It's just a matter of getting the research, uh, resource collection done, rather, and uh, doing just fine. So, very happy about that. Even more components, even more steel. Can you believe it? I think I just consistently been looking towards the south of the map and not realizing there was. Uh, tons up here to grab. That's all pretty good. We struck compacted machinery. I know. Can you believe it, man? Can you believe it? All right. Uh, now that we have so darn many of them, I'm going to go ahead and set up the assault rifle job. And I lied. We have not researched it yet. Ah, uh, right, right. So we've researched to the prerequisite step for assault rifles, but until the actual table gets made, we cannot do that. So the table's being made uh, more or less right now. Yeah, it seems to be coming in right now, so... That'll be good. As we're 11 meals remaining, uh, I believe our people are not allowed to eat package revival meals. Is that a true story? Did we make that up? Um, yeah, they're not allowed to eat package revival meals, so unfortunately, it's time for the gross time. Which is to say, not allowing all meat, but just not human meat. Insect meat, here we go, here we go. Uh, Mima, you gonna be back to cooking then? I'm so sorry, everyone. Uh, so eating insect meat is only, I believe, a negative three malice. Yeah, eight cooked insect meat, negative three. I ate a meal cooked from gray, slimy insect meat. The seasoning partly covered the taste, but there were glands and fluid pockets in there I couldn't identify. That's right, glands and fluid pockets. Um nom nom, sounds pretty tasty. Uh, the great thing now is we can research precision rifling. And I'll get assault rifles straight away. Hope they're researching it on that. Uh, I see we need more, more chairs. I really don't want to waste wood at this point because we have so little of it. So instead, we'll go make little stools for the time being and eventually move on to more attractive chairs. But for now, we can use limestone stools uh, on each of these. And one there. And one here. And other than that, I think everyone has a chair in their work spots. Uh, Jack, are you on the way to research again? No, you're on the way to sleep. Maybe in the morning you'll do that. And friends, spring has sprung. Now, unfortunately, this is a relatively cold biome in general, so the uh, fields are not going to work for another five days. But we're going to set them up to begin planting whenever they want to. Uh, though not this one. This is the one we actually don't need anymore. It was just for ambrosia earlier. There still is some ambrosia here, but... Um... Yeah, we'll leave it in place. That way they'll auto-harvest the ambrosia when it comes to it. Okay. So I believe currently, Will does not have a bedroom of his own. Yeah, Will got kicked out of the family bed and now needs his own bedroom somewhere. Luckily, he's catatonic for the time being, so it's not super urgent to get him a, um, a bedroom of his own. But I think I'd like to get him a... Oh, no. Not the other animals. All the animals are coming through and ruining my beautiful steel stripes by traps. I think I knew this was gonna happen. I really didn't say this was gonna happen. Uh, good to get some more meat, I guess, but at the same time, this is a bit of a disaster. About Will, though, I'd kinda like to make him a bachelor pad, a happening, swinging bachelor pad. And for right now, we're gonna let the prison be his bachelor pad. For so long, that marriage was his prison, and now he's free, and we put him in a different prison instead. Uh, we'll make him a bachelor pad somewhere, though. Uh, maybe up in this corner, possibly. Let's see. This section is not yet infestable. So we'll dig out a little bit here. Like so. And see what we find. Um, we're at a point now where it's going to be hard to fit two more bedrooms into our current area. It's going to take over more territory. 
I mean, Ancient Danger is a fine area we could take over. It'd be, it'd be quite quite a bit of work to make it attractive in there, but eh, it, might, it might work out. We'll see. Uh, all of our mortars are loaded. We only have one shell remaining, though. This is clearly a sign that crafting is not happening well right now. Um, yeah, I mean, we got a job for it. We got a job for it, definitely, but it's just not happening. So, and the issue there is chem fuel. Uh, chem fuel can be made out of uh, wood or vegetables, and we currently have absolutely neither one of those. So, not quite going to happen. But good to see research is occurring. Also good to see that someone's starving. Liz the Gourmand, go enjoy some tasty, tasty insect meat. And I wonder, did I set up this stockpile zone to allow meat inside of it? Or is this just thrown on the ground because there's no other place to go? Yeah, this, this zone is for corpses. I'm actually going to make that name right now so I don't forget in the future. This is the, um, the, the corpse pile. The flesh pit. The body farm. The... Cor corpse stockpile very well and uh this is raw food i'll change that name also so i don't forget to the raw resource room uh the the uncooked meat no the raw food resources literality is probably for the best here and lastly this whole zone is for uh just meals Eventually, once we have vegetables going again, we'll get a lot of meals going. That's going to be a bit of time, I suspect, before we get to there. Okay, so we are using steel right now to remake these uh, these traps. Not quite sure how I feel about that. Uh, also, I'm realizing that since Will has no uh, farming to do outside yet, we could have Will instead do farming inside by putting in some uh, potted plants. And that would, that would look nice. That's all I ever wanted for bedrooms to look nice. So, make potted plants out of limestone. Um... What's the quality of the prison right now? Slightly impressive already. I right, that make for happy prisoners eventually. Bedrooms, though, are only decent still. Uh, we've talked about making artwork for the bedrooms, and we don't have any right now. There's one piece that's getting done currently, a large sculpture for each bedroom eventually. But for now, let's go ahead and just throw in potted plants in each room. Uh, poor Franz's room is kind of small. Yeah, we don't really believe the symmetry game this time around. It's, uh, it's not a game of just... Items for everybody. All right, and these two rooms are mediocre because of size, primarily. I don't know if adding in a pot of plant will make it better or worse, but we'll find out. A oh, poor moth to like climb over things, get into bed. That's horrible. Truly, truly horrible. But lots of work to do. Okay. And as we're getting out here, have we made this area infestable? Uh, not quite. That's pretty good. All right, so we got just right there. We'll just say we can put a room here without having infestations. So let's do that. Let's go ahead and immediately mark this wall to smooth. Neat. And then make a sandstone wall. All right, we're kind of missing all the stones right now, but we got sandstone there. So yeah, sandstone wall will be good. Also, we got a new quest. Okay, we'll do two there, two there, a wall. Maybe we should have uh, Will's bachelor pad be extra large. A little bit larger than anybody else's. Um, presumably I should have a back door also, in case we need to fight from this direction here. I do also kind of make a bunker here, just because I have to fight sappers. Uh, truthfully, instead of this being a, a, a bedroom, it could be a, uh, a, a bunker against sappers. They'll move up that here instead, or possibly even outside. Probably outside will do that eventually. Alright, add an item stash quest. An architect leg. Valuables tend to attract danger. There may be danger there. This is the fastest kind of leg in the base game. Where is it? It's not on our island. Okay. On our island is Hugh the Quack. I believe Hugh the Quack was someone's family member. I said I was going to go for this and then just didn't quite get to it. Two turrets and one enemy. This thing over here, the Arctic leg, we have 26 days. Two in-game months to get there. We'll probably go for that, I suspect. For now, though, we really gotta go save Hugh. Got to, got to. So let's go ahead and set up a caravan to go that way. And we'll send along a who. Probably no one in the actual family. So we'll send Cloud Jumper Astral with almost no money. Wait, Astral, what's wrong with you? Um. Wait, really, what's wrong with you? So he's in okay health. Like, he's a little bit of pain on the neck, a little pain in the nose. 
Uh, his bio is, I mean, not terrible. And he's only worth 235 money. <laughs> I, I'm amazed by that. Okay, you two get to go then. And so it's also a sniper. Or sorry, there's a... We just had a sniper lawn because there's a um, turret. We outrange turrets with those. So Hepler goes also. Three non-family members go. We'll give them all packed five meals. And then a few simple meals beyond. I say a few, I mean ten apparently. We'll give them some sleeping bags. We got how many of those right now? Uh, only, only two. Well, that's fine. You guys did a cuddle nice and close. That'd be great. And we should probably have them equip military clothing before we do this. And we'll also make another better roll, I guess. Oh, cool, we got a new uh, sculpture here. It's called The Sense of Responsibility of Franz. This piece resembles Franz Risbenson avoiding a falling ceiling which impacts with incredible force. He appears to be terrified. The work is executed in geometric style. The few expect it. At the edge of the image are thousands of boxers. Those boxers are pummeling Franz. Uh, making him feel guilty of the fact that he caused a roof to fall in. Shame on you. Shame on you. We'll install that inside of Franz's bedroom. Don't you ever forget what you've done, young man. Also, Willow just made a masterwork stone stool. Masterwork limestone stool. How attractive is that? One. <laughs> it is the same attractiveness as a completely bare floor. It's masterwork quality. Does that make it more comfortable? I have no idea. Let's see. Uh, stool, what is your comfort? 0.73. Cool. Pair that against this one over here. Excellent. 0.62. All right, so it is more comfortable. It still wants a slab of stone on which to sit, but better than nothing, I guess. All right. Let's go ahead and set up our people in uh, non-worker clothing. So it's going to be a Cloud Jumper, a Soldier, Kepler, a Soldier, and Estrada, a Soldier. Right. Let's see what all they put on. Uh, looking pretty fancy in your fancy armor. Eventually, I want to have fancy armor for absolutely everyone. I think that'd be really, really cool, but there'll be a time. All right, they're all equipped now. Uh, we have another sniper rifle we can give someone. So, Strada and Cloud Jumper both have long rifles. And both of them are relatively good shots, I think. 10 and 10, and Kepler's a 11. Cool. Let's go two sniper rifles and a. No, let's do two bolt action rifles and one sniper rifle. We just need to outrange the turret while we're fighting the people. I think that makes sense. Okay, so we'll prepare a caravan to go save Hugh the Crack. Uh, the Crack. Hugh the Quack. And I am not exactly sure where he's going to fit into the base. I think we're saving him again because someone's family member or maybe because he's a doctor. I'd like to have a doctor, I guess. Uh, I said I was going to make a, a new sleeping bag. Do you want to do that? We got scads of leather and such, so produce a couple bedrolls here out of light leather. Two of those. Have Will, the best constructor, ever come do those? Uh, Mole's working out also. Mole's under construction. A seven. That's good enough, I guess. Let's see who does it faster. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Mole didn't even get a chance to start. Will knocked them both out. One excellent, one good. That's both very good. We'll uninstall both of those. I'll jump into that real quick. Thanks, Will. And a hall is inside. And then go and set up the uh, caravan one more time. So, you all, Strata and Cloud Jumper and Kepler. Kepler is valuable character. Why is Kepler worth so darn much? The Bionic Heart might be part of it. Uh, also, with bad back, he's moving kind of slowly. How slow do you move? 90%. Yeah, it's kind of slow. Uh, possibly we'll give him the new leg to speed him up. Though I think someone else might be missing a leg. Uh, he's got a nice all-around uh, set of, of passions, but I think the Bionic Heart is really the big the big element there. What does that do? It increases blood pumping. What does increased blood pumping lead to, though? Anything? Maybe drugs going around. Apparently, it actually improves his movement. His movement would be worse if he only had a bad, black, uh, bad block there. We'll need to get him a uh, Bionic Spine eventually, for sure. Okay, you three. And all these and ten of these... Gustin's medicine along also. Uh, we only have proper medicine for right now. We don't have any herbal left right now. We'll get some more pretty soon. Set four of those. And everyone gets a bedroll. One, two, and three. 
And is that it? Is that all we need? Wait, I sent a sleep chunk? <laughs> Definitely sent a sleep chunk along with them. Uh, interesting metaphor. You're carrying the burden of the colony. And we sent along one other extra weapon for the person we're picking up. Got a shotgun for him. Uh, we got medicine, we got food, we got bedrolls, we got extra weapon. I'm sure that's all we need. Let's choose our route. There. Two days to go. Be fine. All right. So they're on the way now. We're going to set up their food also on these three people who are leaving uh, to allow them to use uh, pack survival meals. And I think it'll be okay. So that's restrictions. Simon Brother. We have a. We don't have an all food setting right now. So let's make one of those real quick. Uh, new food restriction. We're going to call road trip food. Because the only time you're allowed to eat absolutely everything is when you're on a road trip. And we'll give that to uh, Strata and Cloud Jumper and Kepler. There they go. There they go. Con. They're on the world map already. Head to the prisoner camp. They get there in two days. We only have three days of food. Um, yeah, this is the problem with winter movement, possibly, or the problem with uh, Kepler being so darn slow. We'll see how it goes, how they get there. They're doing just fine, though. Okay, spring is springing. Uh, still no wood, unfortunately. The snow is still remaining. It's a slow, slow process to get it all worked out. But um, are we making stone still? Is someone on that kind of crafting or... All right, so it looks like Liz is on that kind of crafting after tailoring. And no one in particular is on that kind of crafting all the way. Probably someone we left for the, uh, had leave was doing that crafting. So we're needing more sandstone. Um... I believe we have jobs for the other kind of stone, but not for that quite yet. Actually, we do have sandstone. Move to the top. Get that done pretty soon here. Uh, I'll also be starting to work on assault rifles in just a little bit once that uh, research is done. But things are looking pretty okay in the old base. The lack of light here. Let there be light. Fiat Lux. There we go. Thanks so much for watching today. We'll see you again real, real soon.